Tony is Music. My name's Tony and I really appreciate you joining me on my channel. Please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and hit the notification bell for future references of new videos I will be posting every Friday. Firstly, I'd like to say a big hello to Mariam and Imran. Hello. <laughs> uh, I hope you're all right. Um, I will do you an animation next week if I can. Um, I haven't been able to this week, so just run out of time all the while. So that's a problem. Uh, as well as that, I'd like to say hello to, to Trilini King, who's my newest subscriber. I hope you enjoy the channel, and I'll try my best to entertain you as much as I can. Um, as well as that, to all my other subscribers, I really appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel. And it, it warms my heart to hear the comments that I've had off um, Nigel Willis and Mr. Tracks last week for the uh, videos I've done the week before. So I really do appreciate all those comments. It does, does warm my heart. So thank you very much for them. And I hope you enjoy these videos coming up. Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to show you how to create pads on Doodly 4 inch items, and I'm just going to open a new Doodly uh, project. And just hang on a moment. Right now, I'm going to look for my military vehicle. Um, I don't know whether I've got it on here or whether I've got it on my desktop. Um, let's have a look at some props first. Now I've got it there, so I'll have to add it from my desktop. Okay, right, um, there it is. Right, so just add that, just wait for that to uh, load up. Now just continue with that. I'm cho I've chosen this because it's very intricate detail, as you can see. Um, right, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and click on the pencil, which is to show how to draw now we've already got path one on so what we're going to do is just click the plus button and start near the um, wheel and just do every centimeter or so a little spot on each one just click it each time and try and get any points um, like corners and things like that or anything that's sticking out uh, specifically more than anything else really because if you get a point that's sticking out that should be seen more than something else right so do anything like that or anything visual um, the visual aspects should be hit upon the mouse really because uh, them are the ones that are most noticeable and so they should be seen to be drawn more than the other stuff really okay so right we're going to go right round the outside of this vehicle now um, I should basically do the uh, wheels as well because they are quite noticeable anyway aren't they when I mean, they took a long time to draw so um, if you're do doing these with the paths you definitely you definitely do the uh, wheels really but uh, I'm only showing you a basic method of doing it um, so you can get used to how to do it in more intricately um, but if you do this on the outline and then anything that you want to show more than anything else you do this same sort of thing on that particular part and then the rest of it you can just uh, scrub over um, like we do on the last path in a bit but um, really I should do the wheels really because they are very noticeable aren't they really but uh, never mind um, as you can see I've done most of the points and we're nearly round to the other end now and once I've done this I'm going to do the windows and maybe the tanks and the grills that are on there there's two separate um, two or three separate uh, paths so right so we're going to add a new path from down there and click on that and then do the windows next right and as you can see I'm not doing um, every centimeter on here because these are obviously straight lines basically anything that's straight lines you can do one line to another or you know just the odd couple of line a couple of dots here and there but mainly if you do straight lines then you should be all right most of them so you won't need to do so many but it depends on how you feel yourself really 
but that's the way I'd, I'd do that because in, they're just straight lines so there ain't no problem with them but if they've got like the uh, wheels you'd have to do more lot more dots on them because obviously they're not straight lines you know so that would have been harder for me to do that's why it is <laughs> but uh, now um, you know it's basically down to how intricate you want to go really so but I'm, I'm just doing this just to show you what sort of thing you can do if you want to try doing it a bit more intricate you know just by doing these bits it makes it look more intricate a bit anyway you know but I mean this is just a basic one I'm showing you now but I mean I could could have done the wheels and if I had it on I would have made it look really uh, much more intricate really but no mind okay so that's that done now now I've done that I'm going to go diagonally from top to the bottom if I can starting from the front and work my way along now once I've done this I'm going to improve the strength of each line of the paths by um, um, increasing it on the side there where all the other stuff is for the path and I'll show you in a minute so it'll, once it's increased in the, the strength on the paths you will see more of the picture being taken up by each path and it will show through better than it does at the moment because at the moment it looks like you just scribble on the uh, preview so just wait a minute and you'll see what I mean okay just takes it just takes a little bit of time just to do this bit just to fill it through but it, it, once you've done it if you keep the actual item on doodly and don't delete it off doodly it will always keep the path it's only if you delete it from doodly you'll have to do the path over again so you know if once you've done it it's there for as long as you want it on there so that's it then so that's pretty good really so there we go right now I'm just going to increase the strength now as you can see the red line went thicker and that's already improved it straight away and I'll carry on with the next path and do the same with the next path and so on and as you can see the picture is filling out on the preview quite well it might be going a bit fast um, and when it is drawn it might be going a bit fast on there so what we'll do is we'll change the duration on that once we've saved it right now we preview and just check it first yeah it's quite fast so what we'll do is we're going to change the duration of how long it takes to draw and it'll look more like it was being drawn more intricately by adding a few seconds on the duration which is what I'm doing now okay right now we preview it now it looks much be better already just by looking at the outline being drawn and there you go you can see what's being drawn and that that's it well if you like this uh, tutorial please like and subscribe to town music and that's how you do it thank you Thank you.